So we're going to be doing a uh, side by side comparison on our uh, serpentine system high output alternator 180 amp replacement for the standard 160 to 180 amp uh, CS130 style alternators that come standardly equipped on the various serpentine systems in the marketplace. So theirs is basically a external fan, ours is dual internal. We're going to be testing it at peak output, but we're going to mainly be focusing on the idle output um, at typically 700 RPM for these serpentine systems where they normally idle at. Both of them are going to be supplied with a 2 inch pulley and we're going to go ahead and show you guys peak output as well as idle output and what the voltage settings are with the low draw on them at low RPM uh, because that's where most of these uh, vehicles really struggle in the idle RPM section. So give us a minute and we'll go ahead and put the alternators on the machine and we will go ahead and give you some side by side comparisons. This will give us a uh, more of a, an accurate reading directly off of the power wire itself. So, first we'll go ahead and show uh, max max amperage on these. So we can, you guys can see what the uh, comparison is on it. Typical 14.4 shut point on these. So 185 amp a peak on the CS130 style alternator supplied on the bracket system. So now we're going to go ahead and bring it down to the idle output. So rotor speed is going to be the 2100 rotor speed for the 3 to 1 pulley ratio here. 14.4 volts is the setting on these typically. And now we'll go ahead and do a an amp draw on them to show you what it is that you'll see on the standard CS130 alternators. So if you get yourself a couple of fans that kick on, usually about a 25 amp draw, that's a 50 amp draw on the alternator alone. We're going down to 14 volts. If you got two fans that kick on and then you add a stereo system and now we're going into a 70 amp draw, now your voltage just went ahead and uh, dropped. 12.8, now we're at battery resting voltage. This is typically where most of you guys that are running these serpentine systems struggle at. When they're going out into a cruise night, they're idling at 700 RPM, just basically you know, idling around the parking lot and their fans kick on. And the big complaint is, is that their lights are still dimming and their batteries are actually dying while they're going out for a drive. Um, this is a common occurrence on these because on the slot one style alternator, well, although you are getting the peak output of 180 amps at high RPM, um, the power for low RPM is basically being diverted to the high, and that's where you're seeing that there's a weakness in the low RPM, and that's why the voltage drops significantly. I mean, even we're down here at you know 70 amps, and we're down into the 12s. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next is I'm going to go ahead and swap out the alternator and show you a comparison, show you the temperature rating on these as well to show you that we're not doing a cold rating on them. So we'll go ahead and stop this one 
and we will swap out to ours running the same RPMs, showing the same peak. So now we have ours connected, we'll do the same step, repeating the same peak output performance on our alternator. Ours is a 14.7, 14.8 set point. So 183 amps, 184 amps at peak. The other one peaked out at 185. So now we're going to go back down to checking the idle rating. Back to that 2100 rotor speed there. And then doing a an amp draw on it. So same thing we're running into, we're 50 amp draw, we're at 14 volts, taking it up to the 75 amp, or the 70 amp draw. running basically a whole bolt less on the CS130 style alternator. We'll sit at 14 volts at the idle output. Same thing. Temperature rating. So this is this is warm, this is not a cold rating. 70 amp draw, 14 volts still, versus 12.8 you know, at the same amp draw. So when you're looking into a high output alternator and you're running the multiple fans, sound system, the last thing you want to do is experience any kind of a voltage drop when you're out and about. The last thing you want to see is when you're getting home, your batteries are drained out. Uh, this is basically your, your solution here. Fourteen volts. Hundred and twenty degrees, so it's it's a warm rating. 70 amp draw, voltage is still holding steady at 14 volts. Again, serpentine systems, you guys are running this type of alternator, be it the offset mount, straight up and down mount. We have all the mounts available for these on our website. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot us a message. Happy to help you guys out. But the main thing is that we want to go ahead and show you guys the proof and performance that our alternators perform exceptionally well and surpass what the standard units are being sold on the internet um, through like Summit and Jags and uh, various other outlets. Thank you guys.